Hey, and welcome back to another video. And this is day 22 of the 31 day challenge. And today I'm going to show you how to transcribe a YouTube video just from the YouTube link. We'll be taking the audio file from it, transcribing it, and then we'll have Autogen write a blog post about it, summarizing and the key points. So I'll be taking this YouTube video. I will paste it in this function to get transcription from YouTube video. We'll paste that here. I'm going to run it. And whenever it's done, it's going to create a blog post with Markdown. And after it's formatted, it'll look something like this. And you can do this all local with open source LLMs. Let's get coding. All right, well, the first thing is I'll use Olama as an example this time for a local server to have a locally hosted open source LLM. You'll go to olama.ai, or I guess now it's olama.com. Click download, and then choose whichever machine you're running, and then download that version of Olama. Once you're done, and installed it, it'll probably auto run. I know it's running when I see a little llama symbol up here on my Mac. Okay, so I had this set up to where you can either use a GPT, which you'll need an open API key for, or you have to give the model the base URL if you wanna use Olam. So we first have our imports. I'm going to load .env because we're gonna be creating a .env file for all of our properties. So over in our .env file, I have an open API key, the model and the base URL here. So you can choose if you want to use Olama or ChatGPT. And if you're using Olama, you have to specify the model that you're going to use. And then we created a functions file where I have a function to get transcription from the YouTube video and I pass in the YouTube video here. Once you create a functions.py file, we need to import the YouTube loader from the lane chain community document loaders. We're going to say YouTube loader from YouTube URL pass in the video URL, and you can also get all the video information. It's kind of like the metadata from the video if you want. I'm just gonna put the false because I don't need it right now. We're gonna load the documents, and then we combine the documents, and then convert that into text by joining all the documents together. And then we just simply return. So now that we have the text, that's kind of all we need for the context for our agents to work. We have the config list. This time we're gonna use config list from .env. Again, .env, meaning the literal file name, .env that we have up here. We created the LLM config. I have a writer assistant agent, which basically says they're a professional writer. And then I have a user proxy agent. And then finally, I just want to say user proxy .initiate chat with the writer. And I want you to create a blog post with the following YouTube script with a title, outline, the main points, and then paragraphs explaining and summarizing the script. And then the context is going to be that text which this is going to be the text from, or the transcription from the YouTube video. And that's it as far as code goes. So let's go ahead and pull a model in from Olama and then run it. By the way, I know this is, I know this is day 23, but I kind of shuffle the videos around and this is going to end up being day 22. So just bear with me. So you're going to say Olama pull, and then this is going to pull in a model, whichever model you want. You can go to their website that we were just at olama.com. Then you can search for all the models they have. But for my machine, I need a smaller model so I can get it working in a relative or reasonable amount of time. So I'm just going to use Phi because it's a smaller model. So you see Olama pull Phi, and then it's going to pull in that model for us. Now, I already had it downloaded. So this was this was really quick. But for you, it will might take a little bit more time. So you could say Olama serve. But we don't need to because with Olama software running, we already have it serving a local server for us. We just pulled a model in for it. And now all we need to do to run it is say Python 3 main.py. Click enter. And then I'll be back whenever it's finished. OK, it's finished. And again, this is what it's going to look like. I take the markdown here. And then in PyCharm, it automatically gives you a side by side view of uh, the preview of what that markdown looks like. And now I didn't save the file to example.markdown. It didn't create that file. I just did that so you could see what um, see that it worked properly. OK, great. Now, this is actually part one of two. What I'm going to do in the second part of the video is I'm actually going to use the Gmail API. So that's going to create this blog post. And then you can tell it that you wanted to send an email in a prompt that you want to send an email into what user or users. And if you want to uh, carbon copy anybody or BCC, whatever you want to do. That takes a little bit more work. We are going to use a Gmail LangChain tool, but you also need to enable the Gmail API. So we'll go over that in another video and get that set up. But the first part was that we need to actually get the transcript from a YouTube video. Okay, again, this is day 22. We are almost into the last quarter of the 31 day challenge. It's been a lot, but thank you for sticking with me. Here are some more videos on Autogen. If you, if you miss some of the days, that's okay. I just appreciate any support you give me. Put your comments or thoughts down below in the comments section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.